Um, had a bit of a hiccup <laughs> with my other, um, my other channel. So I apologize for that. Um, anyways, uh, I was supposed to do a live at five and it's, uh, what time is it now? It's definitely probably at least 10 after. I apologize. Um, I just couldn't get it to work. I'll let you guys see. Um, I just don't know. It's just not loading for me. So yeah, we tried on the phone. What do I have on my face? Probably from Christmas tree decorating today. We tried on the phone. We tried everything. Um, but just couldn't get it to work. So if I'm hoping that everyone is coming over from the other, so this is supposed to be an ask me anything. Hi guys. Um, uh, one second here. Okay. I hope you guys are coming up there. Okay. So, um, I just want to do like a 10 minute, ask me anything with you guys, because, um, I haven't had a chance to do that really. So anyways, how are you guys? Um, I spent my Sunday today just getting Christmas decorations up. Um, pretty easy family day, just chilling at home. Watch the Seahawks get a win over the Niners. That was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, let's see what else here. So, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. All the questions coming up. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys want to ask me? Let's see. Any chance of a round of rematch? Well, that would heavily depend. Um, that would heavily depend on Rhonda, obviously. Um, my guess if she was ever going to come back would be to, um, go to WWE because it's a lot more money and, you know, it's, you don't really have to take punches and stuff. Like, I don't know, or whatever, pro wrestling. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of, of pro wrestling, so I use the wrong terminology. Sorry about that, but is what it is. Um, hi, Sergio, first live stream. That's cool. I'm, it's only like my second or third, so we're almost the same. Um, definitely had some trouble getting this going today. Yeah. Dan, I agree. I don't think Rhonda's coming back. Um, but I could still hope, right? We could still hope. I mean, if if she does, she's got to face me, right? It's just got to happen. So I don't know. But we'll see. Um, what else you guys want to know? What gem on the East Coast would you recommend for female to train MMA? Well, I like um, the Gracie gym out there in New York, that's where I usually go. It's literally like downtown, I think like Man Manhattan area. Don't quote me. I'm not the most geographically um, solid person, but I'm sure you could look that up there. Um, it's a really good gym. They have actually blonde fighter. She fights out of there. Um, what is her name? Of course, it's going to evade me right now. That That's like a thing for me. Like when I want to think of someone's name, I could think of everything else, like even their nickname, but just not what I actually want to think of. Um, I don't know if that's a thing for you guys too, but maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> All right. Who oh, else? I really want to thank you for the fight with home. What a great fight. Oh, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, I know my last one wasn't the most exciting, but... I mean, I don't know. I guess all of them can't always be the barn burners that we want them to be. I'm not the most proud of that fight, but I am proud of a few things in that fight is that um, I just still think that my striking has come leaps and bounds and it's still going to have to get better. But if you guys go back and, and watch, you know, even just a couple of my fights before, you're going to see how I used to like lead with my head first and I really... Um, I took a lot of shots in order to like get in on my wrestling and, and this last fight, I just didn't feel desperate to like have to get it to the ground. So and I wasn't feeling tired. So it was a lot of different things for me in this fight that normally used to be my cues. Like you've got to go. So taking really hard shots, even though I got the damage, I knew that I said that about Ketlin was that she's going to hit, she can hit with shots that could like break your nose or give you a cut, but aren't going to knock you out per se. And that's kind of what happened in the fifth round was like, I got the laceration, you know, she kind of hit me in the nose a few times and you know, yeah, it was that kind of, um, that kind of thing, but not really anything like, you know, too detrimental anyways. But, um, all right, hold on a second here. Let me see. I'm trying to do my live. Will the thrill. 
Hi, how's it going? Is that is that your question? Did I get it right? I'm still learning a little bit on this, you guys, but I saw that little pop-up, so I want to just acknowledge you. Say thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Um, if, if I missed your question, just type it again. I'll be looking for your name. Okay, so... I did great last fight. Alexis, I did great last fight. I cheered for you the whole time. My wife and I watched the fight. Um, and she doesn't watch fights anymore. So she asks who's fighting. Now she asks who's fighting. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Um, do you think Amanda Nunes is the women's goat? Um, yeah. I, I, I feel like uh, the maybe greatest of all time. I've been, I've been saying that for a long time. But then I was looking at you know, Valentina's record and what she's done, because it's easy to forget that Amanda's beginning of her career wasn't super, um, like stellar. Uh, it, you know, it was like, it was so, so like she was good, but she didn't really, wasn't a world beater. It wasn't until the second part of her career, which is actually more impressive to me. But I guess when you have to have the all time conversation, maybe we should be talking about Valentina. Um, Weapon X, how's it going? Um, I am. I see your little graphic there. That's really cute. They say yippee. I hope I'm not missing your eyes' questions because I see that some people are generous enough to pay to um, be recognized on here. Um, oh, okay, Will, there you are. I don't know why. I I need to obviously get a little bit better at this, but thank you guys for um, hanging in there with me. But Will, I see your question. Yours was silly. How big are your guns at their biggest? Uh, they're better than ever. I appreciate that. You know what? I haven't measured my biceps. I assume that's what you mean by my guns. I haven't measured my biceps in a while. Uh, uh maybe I'll, I'll have to do that and put that information out there for you. <laughs> if that's even a serious question, but I appreciate that. Um, and who was the other one? Weapon X. Um, for some reason, you guys, I'm getting those little, like little pop-ups and they're like the little graphics, but I don't see a question included with that. So if you could just type it again for me down in the regular chat, um, Mr. Weapon X, then, uh, I'll be sure to try to get to that and just keep putting it in case I miss it. Cause there's other questions too. Um, Peter, just like a shout out. Hi, Peter. There's a shout out. Um, what else? Have I ever, oh, have I ever been in any street fights? That's a good question. Okay. I have one. It's not that cool of a story, but I'm going to tell it to you anyways, because it's the only time, only one that I had. I was in third grade and there was a boy that was, I think it was a year older. He was for sure older, maybe two years older than me. And he lived across the way. And for whatever reason, my friend and I were on this, uh, it was, oh God, how do I shorten this? It was like this light, uh, you know, those big logs of like light, like light poles, but they're wood. It had like fallen over and it had just become this thing that we would, they, we would play on. And, uh, well, he just didn't want us there on that corner or whatever. So anyways, he was the aggressor, the initiator. And I, I just kind of like stood my ground and they were like, hit her, hit her. And I, so for whatever reason, I used the, the, my palms like this and um I bro I broke his nose like his nose was bleeding and he didn't even get a chance to hit me so I reacted really fast and other than that I've pretty much always been the person to walk away and keep my cool who in the hell would have thought I would get into MMA but here we are um is tough heavily edited or do you actually not get along with Rhonda I feel like this should be something you guys should know by now. Like, we for sure don't get along. Um, of course, any reality TV show is going to try to capitalize and, um, you know, accentuate any drama. But in truth, no, we don't get along. She's just not a very, I don't know. She's not a very, I don't know. I don't want to talk shit, you guys, because she has just had a baby and everything. And you guys already know how I feel about her, so... That should be question answered. All right. So, Sergio, same thing. Um, I appreciate so much your donation. I do not even expect that from you guys. But it does make it easier to see you, except the freaking questions don't pop up. So, um, if you want to type it down there, I'll keep an eye out for your name, Sergio. appreciate that. And uh, uh, you actually paid for one on the other one, didn't you? Because I was looking. So, I don't know if there's a way for me to refund you that. But... Um, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Sergio. Um, tell me what your question is down at the bottom. Type it regular. 
Will the throw. Ron is not very warm. <laughs> Ron is not very warm and fuzzy. No, she's not very warm and fuzzy. Uh, I think that's safe to say. Um, have, uh, what is Thad Cruz? Have you ever trained in weaponry? Swords, staffs? If so, what are your favorite weapons? No, I have never trained in weaponry. The only time I went, uh, up into the woods and with a friend of mine uh, who had a friend who um, was had like axe throwing and I don't know if you guys saw that on my other YouTube video I actually just re-uploaded that kind of as a um, throwback Thursday and uh, pretty much nailed it or axed it um, it was a lot of fun I really did enjoy that and I think it's something that I should do another rendition of because um, now I figured it out but it's been a few years so that's it. Just axes, axe throwing one time in my life. And it was a lot of fun. Um, Aspen calls you out. Are you interested in fighting her next? Or who are you interested in going up against? So, um, good question. Oh, well, Aspen called me out. Um, who else? Um, pa Panny. Panny Kansad called me out. So I have at least two girls that I'm aware of that have called me out. Um, luckily for me, I'm in no shortage of opponents. So that's the good news. Other than that, uh, I mean, I'm just not really focused on next right now because I feel like I need to kind of set the cup down and put some time into my family and, and, and enjoy that process a little bit, like enjoy Christmas. But I mean, I do hear these girls calling me out and I see it and I, you know, I expect it because other than Amanda, I think I will be the number one targeted female. And, you know, I feel like these girls saw me come off of a loss, you know, I mean, and I, I lost, like, I don't want to take anything away from Ketlin. However, I still look at that fight and I feel like in my heart, it was like like a draw, like we were very close, very even. And it just depends on what you looked at. Um, so, you know, I'm okay with the results, but I don't feel like I have to hang my head like, oh, I got my ass beat. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, yeah, I just came up a little bit short. And, you know, she, I mean, look at Jose Aldo. It was such a smart game plan. I actually was picking Rob Font to win that fight because I thought Aldo would kick more and I thought it wouldn't help him. And so smart. He did not go out there and kick. He he relied on a better skill set to beat Rob Font. And it just goes to show that their coach there at Nova Uniao is so smart. And, you know, he's been doing great things with his fighters. And Ketlin is one of them. It was a good game plan. Um, you know, it was surprising to me in hindsight to go back and see her scolded for shooting on me when, you know, supposedly she's a black belt and she's got all these credentials in judo and uh, even wrestling. But they knew that stylistically her length and reach, she had a three-inch reach advantage on me, that it was probably better for her to stay on the feet. Um so, yeah, we learned a lot. I came up just a little bit short. But, hey, guys, it was the first time in my career that I didn't have to really rely on um, on my wrestling to, to win me a fight. And I didn't win, I know. But I did better. <laughs> in my opinion, I did better. All right. Let me see here. Okay. Remember the socks you gave Rousey and she slaps you across the face? Yes, I definitely remember that. <laughs> She was so mad. That was one of the best moments, though. I mean, she just could not take a joke on that show to save her life. She was a little Miss Angry Pants. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I don't know. I would hate to be her significant other. Um, let's put it that way. Um, James. Okay, so now the questions are actually popping up in here. Okay, maybe if you guys don't send the graphics with the questions, then I'll be able to see them. So, James... De Hart, my question on Facebook was, where did you train in Washington other than with Hallman? Oh, so in Washington, I trained also, actually got my start when I was going to Central Washington University over in Allensburg, Washington. Are you from Washington, by the way? Um, you can answer that in the next questions. I was just wondering why you're asking specifics, but um, I was in Ellensburg, and then I got my real start in MMA training in... Uh, Yakima, Washington, at Yakima MMA, which was run by Rich Guerin, who has since passed away. And other than that, um, I cross-trained a bit at Sik Jitsu MMA and even a little bit down at Team Quest, but they were just across the way in, in Portland. So anyways, 
Yeah, Sergio, I know. It was so funny. She was so mad. The look on her face. Such a little angry pants. But anyways, um, let's see. Wait, what are you talking about, Weapon X? She said, don't get too personal. <laughs> I must have missed something when I'm just over here talking so much. Oh, Kenneth. Kenneth Coker. Um, do you have any tattoos? No, I have very virgin skin. Zero tattoos. Um, and only my first cut. Which, by the way, you guys, I think looks pretty good. You probably couldn't even tell, huh? I heal up very fast. I actually only have like a tiny bit of red in my eye still. Otherwise, I'm I'm good. Lil Wixie, what's up, Terry? <laughs> Thanks for hopping on. I wish this whole COVID nonsense wasn't going on so you could actually come back over here and visit. All right, who else? Who else? I'm probably going to be on here just another couple minutes. I'm so sorry that the other chat didn't work. I hope you guys all made it over from the other chat, but... Last few questions. Okay, James. Yes, you live in Everett. My son goes to, oh, wait, where? Arlington. Gone to Charlie's off and on. Yeah, okay. So I've chained at Charlie's a little bit. Um, wasn't he? Oh, Charlie's. No, I'm sorry. I didn't chain at Charlie's up north. Um, but Cindy Hales has a jujitsu school up there somewhere, and I've heard really good things about it. I've trained with her before. She's pretty awesome. And then I in Seattle, I've trained at Ivan Salivary's before, only a few uh, a few times, but still it was pretty neat space. I'm not even sure, you know, with COVID and everything, I haven't followed up, so I don't know if they still have one. But anyways, Jay, um, Jay, any chance that I could make? Uh, 125. You know, it's not out of the question. I think it's possible that I can make 125. I'd have to talk to my coaches about it for sure. Right now, I'm definitely enjoying myself and indulging a bit and just trying to enjoy. But um, I am on the smaller side. I think I'm kind of like a Mackenzie Dern, right? It's like I got smaller after pregnancy. So yeah, I had, uh, I, was, I wasn't very big. I was definitely a little bit undersized. But I also don't feel like strength is a problem for me at 135. I really feel like even being smaller, I'm just not a big fan of those massive weight cuts. So if I really was to consider 125, I would need t ample amount of time to adjust my body because I'm not just going to cut water weight and, and damage myself that way. It's just, it's it's not worth it. It really isn't. Um, Keith. Keith Kessinger. This is my husband's account. I took a picture with you at the cake con a few years ago. Oh, nice. I haven't been to a cake con again. I think that was my last, maybe my first and last one. Yeah, it was. Uh, how sad, but God, COVID has been uh, hard on us all, hasn't it been? It's been tough. Um, I know, yeah. That's cool. It, it, we're, I was trying to see if this is a picture there. No, but um well, thank you for hopping on here, Keith's wife. <laughs> Appreciate it. And uh, just a couple more minutes here, and then I'm going to hop off you guys. You're welcome, Weapon X, for talking to you guys. And, oh, Tate at 125, all I want in MMA. Well, let me ask you guys. So if I was at 135, who would you want to see me fight next? And if at 125, who would you want to see me fight next? Do you guys have any input on that? <laughs> he showed me your live. Oh, I love that. Do you think people should get vaccinated? Oh, man. I'm not. I think it's right for some people. I don't think it's right for everyone, and I don't think that it should be mandatory. But I'm not anti-vaccine. I don't want to get political on this, but I'm just not... Um, I just like America, right? That we have the right to choose things. So I don't like anything anti-American. Um, thoughts on Kayla Harrison? Um, I think she should probably come over to the UFC, although I'd really like her to fight Cyborg. So I feel like either way, if she goes to Bellator or if she goes to the UFC, that we get a win. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I know. I definitely don't want to get political. I do not want to go in that direction. But I see just a few of you guys saying, like, I think that it should be there. I think it should be an option. I think it's a great option for some people. And I think if you want it, go for it. But I just don't think it should be, like, we have to do it. Um. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, 125, Carla, oh, but Carla Sparza fights at 115, and Macy Barber is at 125, so I don't think Carla Esparza, yeah, 115, because she would be fighting Rose, and then Macy Barber is at 125, so that's a possibility, um, yeah, it's a possibility for, uh, 125, I suppose. Let's see... But you guys are funny. Carla's a 15er. Andraj. You know, I just saw Andraj actually yesterday. She's so, so small. She's like, comes up to here on me. She's so short. She's like a little meatball. All right. I think I need to. Yeah, Carla's too little. Exactly. I was about to say Macy. That's, yeah, I like that. Macy's, Macy's definitely. Fight the one you're scared of. Who am I scared of shaking my boots? 125, Valentina. That would be a good fight. Um, yeah, I would love to. That Valentina is just so amazing. So that would be really cool. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, have I been on here already for 25, 21 minutes? It was originally also supposed to be 10 minutes. So I so appreciate you guys. And um, I'm sorry about having to switch over. So I just don't know what happened. Um, if you paid for more than one um I don't know a Sergio I think that you paid on another one and David Williamson if you're over here David did you pay two times two and Sergio did you pay on the other chat and this one because I wonder if there's a way if I can like refund you guys for that I do apologize um that I couldn't make it work but I <laughs> and I don't know what happened so Thank you guys. Um, okay, good. Just a donation. Okay, that's really good to know. I'm I'm glad that you didn't have to pay more than once. And thank you guys for that. Um, I don't expect you guys to have to pay anything. <laughs> thank you, Weapon X. You guys are so sweet. I don't even expect it. But I just love and appreciate you guys. From the bottom of my heart, you are all so fucking awesome. I can't even tell you. I've I've had so much fun getting my YouTube channel off the ground for the first time. My subscribers are going up. And it's really fun to let you guys in. And I really appreciate the positive feedback. This has been crazy for me coming around this time. Because when I left, there was a bunch of assholes and asshole comments all the time. And I really feel like now it's like 98% positive. So you guys rock and I love you. I have a very, hi Pete. Hi Sally. Um, hey guys, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas or whatever holiday that you're celebrating. Happy holidays to you guys. Uh, this won't be the last time. Oh, and I, I just want to give a mention. I don't have the details worked out on this, but that I'm going to be doing another fan giveaway. I'm hoping to launch it sometime this week. But um, with Garden of Life, so just be on the lookout for that. I know if, if you guys might have saw that I did a giveaway with uh, with Ultimate Sack. So uh, one lucky winner got a giant Ultimate Sack and a couple other cool things and some signed stuff. So um, that's what I want to do for you guys for being so awesome and loyal and positive. And thank you so much for the donations today. It's so sweet of you guys. And I will be doing more giveaways yeah, back in the cage soon. Well, not too soon. I definitely want to enjoy Christmas and be able to actually eat and stuff like that. So um, sometime after the first of the year um, and enough time for a full camp. All right. Yes, autograph merchandise. That's right. Whitey. Whitey in Vermont. Um, free sign stuff. You got it. So just, yeah, stay, stay subscribed. Watch for my stuff and we'll be doing more giveaways. All right, guys. Take care.